Hey everyone. So I'm going to do flowers today. Um, I have a 12 by 16 canvas and we're going to be using the airbrush um, for all of you that have purchased the airbrush. Um, this is another technique that we can use the airbrush for. And I, um, as I stated on a Monday Night Live, I'm going to do one a week that you can play with your airbrush and do something different. So we're just going to do some flowers today. And they're going to be purple. Um, I'm just going to start with flowers on here and maybe add leaves, maybe some vinery. I don't know. We'll see where it takes us. So I'm going to start with um, Soho Dioxazine Violet. And I'm just going to do um, five flower petals. We tried the bottle bottom on the last one and it did not work so well. So we're just going to go ahead and try this instead. And then I'm going to try um, adding a little bit of the violet from Artist Loft, the light violet. And then we have the Soho Lavender, which is just a little bit lighter. And we'll work on centers when we um, finish with that. So let me get my airbrush here. My cord's a little twisted. And we're just going to blow this out. We're going to start in the center and work our way out. so that we can grab that dark purple and feather out that edge. And we may have to go back in and put just a little drop of that dark purple in the center again. And I want these kind of big, so, so they'll fill up the canvas. I've um, had a lot of purchases of airbrushes through my Amazon shop, so it means at least 60 of you have these, and I just want to show you different things that you can do with it. That actually looks pretty cool. I'm going to leave it for a minute, and I'm going to go ahead and start another one. Um, be a little off-center here. And the reason I'm using purple today, um, one of my childhood high school friends passed away today. So I just, her favorite color was purple that I can remember anyways from high school, but that may have changed over the years. So this is for Andrea. She lost her battle with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And they don't have to be perfect. Remember, this is abstract art. That one a little small, didn't I? <laughs> it's very warm here in North Carolina today. So my air conditioner is running and running and running out here in the studio. So I'm sorry if the background noise is annoying. But it's better than me sweating all over the painting. <laughs>
not worried about the centers yet. So if you entered the drawing that I had yesterday, um, we announced all the winners last night on the Monday Night Live. So if you want to go back and watch to see if you won, I did not post the winners' names, um, privacy reasons. Um, you know, it's different when you say it than when you um, put their name in the description. So. If you want to go through and see if you won, if you were entered, um, that would be on each painting we did last night. We pulled a winner right after, so there's four prizes there. Ah, I was doing so good too, wasn't I? <laughs> that a little white can't fix. Yeah, I'll get it later. Maybe we can cover it up with some green. You can do this with a straw as well. Um, you just want to be careful you don't blow too hard. Because I'm just easing this light color into the dark. I'm going to do one more here. And then we're going to mix it up a little bit. If you don't have a squirt bottle, you can use your popsicle stick to lay the color. And it's okay if they go over the edge. a couple of little opposites. I just want to see how far I can blow that out before I add more colors to it. little wonky.
so I did go into my Amazon shop this morning and do some rearranging um, because I had so much stuff in there that was um, all mixed up so I did kind of group things together to make it easier to find stuff I had a lot of people um, saying they were having a hard time finding things but it should be easier now three petals. Just to fill up some space. You could do these on a small canvas and just do a couple if you don't want to take on a big canvas. So if you have that happen, just go ahead and push the white back. And then you can push these um, purples back into the center and push them back out. And we'll fix these leaves with a skewer. One tiny drop there. And you will get cells because we're going over a dense white paint, so. Okay, so now I have to decide what I want to do for centers. And I want to connect them all with some type of um, foliage. So I think what I'll do for centers will be like a yellow, uh, let's see, maybe a yellow ochre. And then after the painting's dry, I can go back in and dot it out. It's if you do it if you do it before it's dry it sometimes they'll sink skewer and I'm going to pull that into the flowers into the petals and I wipe my skewer off after each one so I'm not dragging the purple back into the yellow this is not hard to do um, it just takes a little patience with the air gun. But you'll have it mastered in no time, I'm sure. There's not too many of us on YouTube that use airbrushes, so... Join the club and come along and play. I might 
want to add a little bit of orange to this. look at it for a second and decide what I want to do next. And I think I will add just a touch of orange in there, just on the bottom part of that. Um, just put a little here. <coughs> just on the little edges here. for a little contrast. I'm glad I didn't use the bright yellow because I think it would have just stuck out too much. Sometimes you just want to do something different besides pouring. Um, we did four pours last night on the live on Monday night. <clears throat> so today I was like, well, I don't want to do a pour the first time. So let's, I film all day on Tuesday. So um, I thought I'd do this first and get this uploaded for you. And I am going to do another airbrush tutorial. So if you're ordering an airbrush, um, you'll get to see up close. I'll be doing it really close. I have my camera over here. How I push that paint on the edge. I um, have a couple of girls that have YouTube channels that have been using it. And I just want to show them how to hold it because I think they're struggling just a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I like it the way it is. So I need to add a little greenery in here. And I think I'm going to use a phthalo green. I don't want green green. I want to do it with a stick, so I'm going to pour some in this little one ounce cup here. And I don't know if my skewer is going to be big enough, but we're going to try. And I'm just going to add a little binary here and there. Just to break up some monotony here. <laughs> So quiet when I'm working here, and I sorry. <laughs>
could change those into um, a light leaf. Let me just try one in the corner here. the opposite way he went with the first swirl there. These are going to sink a little because of the white. have to when this dries I may have to go in with a paint marker and fix these so I did have to do that on a different video there's another airbrush flower video out there with uh, different color flowers that I did go in with a paint marker And dots in the centers, which I'll do on this one for sure. It's nice when you don't have to just sit down to pour and you can actually um, make something else for a change. You can mix it up. You can do all different color flowers. Um, Sandra Lett does some beautiful floral paintings. Check her channel out. And you could also um, just put some color in the background to um, highlight the painting itself. Um, maybe um, toothbrush some gold, just spritz it over there, um, glisten it up. I will probably resin this one and add a little uh, metallic dust to it just to um, pearlize it a little bit. spot finally. So yes, this will get a few little added things on as it dries and we will call that one done. So there's your close-up of the flowers. So that's it for this one guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and click on the bell. You'll be notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join us on Facebook. Shop with me on Amazon. Um, check out my Etsy shop for uh, the big sale that I'm having. And also, um, we are now featuring Stone Coat Art Resin. All the links are below. You'll get uh, $30 off of $80 order. Um, but all the links are below, and you can find all that information in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.